Hello everyone, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. We're a dealership here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm gonna to show you around the 2022 Ibex 19 RBM. This is a great trailer. It is so spacious for its size. It has a Murphy bed and a nice bathroom across the back. It weighs 4,300 pounds. It's only 23 feet long, including the tongue. And it is loaded with features to get you off the grid and out there camping. Just a reminder, features can change in a trailer over time. So if there's something that's really important to you, be sure to check with your dealer. Now, let's go inside and take a look. The space in this trailer really is comfortable. Now the 19 RBM, those initials, they stand for rear bath across the rear and the Murphy bed on the front. That is really what makes this trailer so nice. You've got a small slide out in the kitchen and a nice two person dinette, plenty of storage, a lot of walk around room, really great styling in here. Let's get started right here on the Murphy bed. Now, the most important thing about a Murphy bed is how comfortable is the sofa? So this one, I can tell you, while it isn't the cushiest one I've ever sat on, it's really nicely done and it will fit someone who's much taller than I am with a wide base and a tall back. So don't hesitate to use this for grandkids, maybe even napping. Great to have tables on both sides. Let's take a look on this side. 32 inch 12 volt television at the top. The first thing you'll notice is it is blocking the door to the cabinet on that side. Once you pull it out, it does have a swivel arm so you can watch it from the dinette or the bed. You can open that cabinet without any problem. You know, when you have a space this small and you try to fit in all of the great features, Sometimes you just gotta work with it. Lighted cabinets is really nice. You do have hanging space inside these cabinets and below there is a 110 plug and two USBs on both sides. Now on this side, you'll see there's a switch right here. That is the light right inside this cabinet. Below there's a button and that is the 1000 watt inverter that's underneath the bed. The inverter, if you're not familiar with it, is a great feature for camping off the grid because that is gonna take your battery power and it's gonna power 110 plugs so you can use a standard household plug even when you're not plugged into shore power. That's located underneath this seating here. You'll also notice there's some storage under there. The netting, this netting is easy to pull down Easy to reach anything that you want to store under there. Maybe it's something you don't use very often. There's even a little more storage on top of these cabinets. Just right up here, I would certainly use that space for some things that I'd like to hide up there. These cabinets, plenty of hanging space with a bar. And there is a lower cabinet on this left side. All kinds of great cubbies. Let's look at how the Murphy bed goes down. Jackknife sofa, very easy to lay down. And you notice right over there, there's a catch holding this bed up. I do like the fact that on this Murphy bed, this panel is straight up. Everything is neat and clean, out of the way. No weird angles or anything pushing on a mattress. This lays straight down. And of course, this mattress lays right down on top of it. This is a 60 by 80 mattress, so it's the same as a queen bed in your house. Easy to put sheets on. Big window right up front. When this bed is down, this window space is just amazing. Great space in here. Take a look right behind these cabinets, a few more shelves and cubbies. Lots of storage right here around the bed area. Now let's move around, take a look at the kitchen. There are so many great features in this kitchen, but I wanna start with this refrigerator. Now this is a 12 volt refrigerator from Norcold. It is not your standard RV refrigerator. It is fully 12 volt and it has a compressor. 
So a compressor is what your refrigerator at home has. Most RV refrigerators are a heat exchange and not only do they need space in the back for all of those coils, they need venting on the outside, but they use a lot of power. This one, no venting on the back, so you get a full eight cubic foot on the inside, and it uses a fraction of the power. It cools in about two hours, and it is great for going off the grid because the solar power can charge that battery, keep this refrigerator running great, and it has a beautiful residential look. Next to that, the glass top stove, two burner right here, I like that it has two full-size burners on it. You don't have to lift this top. It just swivels up and down to get out of your way. Look at the space behind it. Great counter space across the back for toasters, coffee pot, anything like that. Of course, your hood vent's gonna have a light and a fan and storage up above. Let's open one of these, take a look. It's about 12 inches deep. And it's a great place for storing items that you want to get to quickly and easily. Underneath that cabinet is a touch light, lights up the back of the countertop, and a 110 plug to plug in those appliances that you've got stored back there. The sink, it's large round sink. I love the brushed aluminum look to it, and it's eight inches deep, so really easy to work with. Nice cover on top. I want to mention before we leave here, the aged wood look on this countertop. It is a one piece countertop, so you don't have seams. Just really finishes off the feel in this kitchen slide out. Underneath, one more cabinet. It's only about six inches deep, but every piece of space is helpful. This isn't just a microwave. It is a convection microwave. So you can broil, you can bake a cake, or simply use it as a microwave. One more thing I wanna mention, every Ibex trailer has a road vac. It is a built-in vacuum system right here below the refrigerator. Now there are accessories you can buy if you wanna use a standard hose like you would at home. However, I think the best feature is the feature that acts as a dustpan. When you're sweeping up your trailer, just lift up the flap with your foot and it sucks up what you have swept, drop it right back down, Super easy. Okay, next I wanna tell you about the air conditioner. This is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and it has wall controls. Right over here on the back side of the kitchen, there's a thermostat that works just like the one in your house. Just turn it on to the air conditioning mode and set the temperature. To top off this great kitchen, there is a nice pantry on the back. They put some mirrors on the front of the panel door and three great shelves. They're about two feet deep, so there's really a lot of space in here for food, cooking, items, just whatever it is you need to store. Right below that, the furnace, and of course that's gonna be controlled with your thermostat. And around the corner, I wanna mention down at the bottom, there is a carbon monoxide LP detector right here below the kitchen to keep you safe. Heading into the bathroom, I wanna point out the pocket door. Not only is it a nice aged wood, really stylish, but it's wonderful because it stays out of the way. In this small space, that's important. There's a rectangular shower. Now this shower curtain is on a rail, so it's not going to stick to you when you're in the shower. And if you include the skylight, it's six foot four inches tall. Right behind me here, there's a mirrored medicine cabinet inside two shelves and then of course a pocket underneath. Great for storing a lot of things that you're gonna use every single day. The sink is not the largest sink in the world, not a ton of counter space, but it does have storage underneath. A little bit you can use there. And did you notice there's a 110 plug underneath if you needed to connect a hair dryer or anything like that, but that's all right, you have tons of storage on this other side. These cabinets are separated into two parts and on the right is the hanging clothes and you'll notice there is a safe mounted at the bottom of this cabinet. That safe is standard in every Ibex trailer. The left, 
It's going to have three shelves, great for clothing, towels, etc., and more storage underneath. So a lot of great space in this bathroom. The last thing I want to mention, there is a power fan on the top and it's got four speeds and it will keep this bathroom nice and comfy for you. Now coming out, another great feature, this door has a magnet, no latches to mess with. But out here in the dinette area, I want to start right up here with this panel of switches. On the right is the switch to turn on and off the light in the bathroom. These three switches, fresh gray and black, they are the heating pads on the tanks. This trailer is outfitted with three tanks, fresh gray and black, all 30 gallons, and they each have their own heating pad. What does that mean? Well, when you're traveling down the road, you're not running your furnace to keep everything warm. You just turn on those tank heaters and none of that water will freeze. That is a super feature. Below that, the monitor system is gonna have the water heater switch and the water pump on it. And the push buttons, of course, are gonna tell you the levels available in your gray, black, fresh tank and the battery. All right there at the end of the cabinet. Nice cabinet across the top of this dinette. It's open all the way down. There's no dividers in it. It's about 12 inches deep, so great storage up there. And of course they put the lights underneath, which gives great lighting to this seating. This is almost six feet long and creates a great sleeping area for an adult. The table, it has two poles on the base, so it doesn't tip, doesn't twist, very sturdy, and a nice white finish on the top. Big windows. I just, I like to tell people how trailers feel and this feels great to sit here and be able to view the outdoors. Right here, we're looking at the Flip 5 JBL speaker. That is included with all of the Ibex trailers. So you have a portable speaker to take outside, anywhere that you're camping, inside or out. Right below this seat is the converter. Just press on the top of the panel and it opens up and you can see the breakers and the fuses. So if you have any electrical issues, that's always the first place to start. Speaking of electrical, I wanted to mention that at the end of this cabinet is a 110 plug. So if you like to do computer work here at the table or needed to plug in any extra accessories, great spot right there. All right, let's look at what's at the end of that cabinet. This trailer has a solar panel on the roof and that comes with every Ibex, a 100 watt solar panel. And when you have solar, you need a charge controller. Located right here on the end of the cabinet, it will tell you the power consumption and the level that your solar panel is charging your battery. On the other side right here are all the switches when you come inside the door and that's gonna control turning on your trailer and putting the slide out out. This extends the awning, puts the slide out room in and out, the LED lights that are on the awning, and then of course the porch light on the outside and the interior lights, all accessible right here when you walk in the door. It's very nice to have a bottle opener right here at the end of the cabinet, along with a few hooks for keys and things that you need to keep there. Now let's head outside because there's still more to see on this trailer. Right here at the entrance, you can see some of the great features that are included in this Ibex. The first one, this is a friction hinge door. So it's stiff, you don't have to clip it back. It's gonna stay right where you put it, even if the wind is blowing. The next, these Moride steps fold up out of the way easily and quickly. So all you do is lift them up, tuck them inside. They will automatically clip into place and Close the door. Very easy. The nice handle is going to give you an easy step in and out. That's a great start to any adventure. But let's take just a minute to talk about the construction. This is a welded aluminum frame trailer and they frame around the windows. It is a good sturdy build. They have a rubber torsion axle, 15 inch aluminum wheels, off-road tires, and they're known for their clearance because this has a solid 13 inch clearance. The Suburban Griddle is one of the few options you can get on an Ibex trailer. 
It just hangs on the rail, has a table next to it, and it plugs into the gas port just underneath. Now under there as well, right next to that, is gonna be the low point drains in case you need to drain the lines in the trailer. There's also a spray port. The coiled hose with the sprayer on the end just plugs right in here. It is a quick connect, simple to do, uh, to have a sprayer available right here in the cooking area. Right next to that, a 110 plug in case you needed to add any other things. Maybe an ice maker, maybe some party lights. One more thing I wanna point out before we look at the rear part of the trailer. The decals include a Sasquatch on the back. I just think that's special. You need to see that. On the back of the trailer, of course, there's the water heater right here, the off-road spare tire, a ladder heading up to the roof. It is a full walk-on roof. Remember, it has that 100-watt solar panel up there. And at the very top, you'll notice it is pre-wired for a backup camera. That backup camera doesn't come with the trailer, but it's ready to go if you'd like to add it. There is a black tank flush hidden right here behind this ladder. That's really important because that's gonna keep your camper super clean when you're dumping your black tank. All right, let's come around and see what's on this side. Around the corner is the satellite cable connection and of course your shore power plug-in. The sewer connection is right underneath here at the rear and very accessible on the right is gonna be the gray and the black tank poles. Furnace vent. Now let's take a look in front of the slide out. Now right up here is the fill for the 30 gallon fresh water tank. Just underneath the city water connection if you're connecting straight to the hydrant. There is a drain right underneath. You just take the cap off if you wanna drain that fresh tank. That makes it very convenient. Pass through storage on the front. You've got cabinets on both sides and a nice open space up front for storage. Magnetic catches, very easy to work with. Now with this trailer, the battery disconnect is right up front. Very convenient because the last thing you need to do once you put it in storage is disconnect the battery. There is a holder for the plug-in, so at a campground, this is not gonna get dirty laying on the ground. The battery box fits right up front and it will fit two standard batteries. Propane tank with a hard cover and an electric jack right up front. On the side of the frame is a dog leash hook. Now, if you don't have a pet camping with you, it's great to secure a generator or any other piece of equipment that you might have out. Uh, before we leave the front, I wanna point out the diamond plate rock guard on the lower half and the frameless six foot window at the top. Both of these are gonna add durability to your trailer, not to mention a little more style. Coming around to the entrance again, we have the magnetic catch on the door for the other end of this pass-through storage. Great for storing all those things you wanna take with you when you're out there camping. Now, this trailer has so many great features. It's made to go off the grid, have tons of fun without plugging in for shore power. Remember, it's got the 12 volt refrigerator that's very efficient, the 100 watt solar panel, the 1000 watt inverter, the off-road tires, great ground clearance, Lots of these things may make this a perfect trailer for you, so I hope you'll check out the Ibex line of trailers. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.